Well, hi, friends. Tonight I'm reading The Mitten. I've been waiting all day to read this book to you. It's my favorite book. Reading and playing basketball, my favorite things, and tonight I get to read. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. Oh, imagine that, white as snow, just like we've had out here in Everett. Everett and Mill Creek got a lot of snow. At first, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens, and finally, Baba made them. I've dropped my mittens in the snow before, and they were hard to find. I once even dropped one of my shoes in the snow. I had to get my shoe back on. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound. But then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens on. So off Nikki went. And it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. Oh, my gosh, he left his mitten behind. What do you think's going to happen next? A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm, just the right size, so he decided to stay. So a mole got into the mitten because it was really warm in that mitten. I wonder what's going to happen. I wonder how many moles are in there. You won't believe this, but a snoo show rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten. And he wiggled in feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them. But when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. A mole and a rabbit in the mitten? Oh, I wonder what's going to happen. I guess the mitten's really, really warm. I hope everybody's warm right now. Having a little cocoa and something hot. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being the ones to argue with someone covered with pricklies, they made room. Oh, that hedgehog has pricklies. That hedgehog can be really, really big. I hope there's room in that mitten. What do you think? Wonder what's next. Oh, my. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in, also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. That mitten's going to have a lot of animals in there. That owl could be really big. And a hedgehog. A lot of things in there. And the rabbit. Oh, my. What's coming next? Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, they were not pleased. There was no room left. But when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumbs up. I don't know what's going to be left for room in that mitten, but there's a lot of animals I don't know if they're pets, but there are a lot of nice animals in that mitten. Oh, my. Oh, my, my. It started snowing. We know what that's like. 
but the animals were snug in the mid. A waft of warm steam rose in the air, and a fox, a real fox, trotting by, stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy made the fox drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. There's a lot of animals in that mitten. But if you're a fox, you're going to make room for that fox if they're going to let the fox in. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Guess what? Great bear lumbered by. He spied the men all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as they could be. But what animal would argue with a bear? I wouldn't argue with a bear. The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged to many times its size. But Baba's good knitting held up really strong and held fast. There's a lot of animals in that mitten. It really has to be stretched. I'm glad Baba sews really well. My Baba used to sew things too. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. That would be a cool place to hide if you're a mouse, right on top of the bear's nose. Oh boy, a lot of animals in this mitten. The bear tickled by the mouse's whiskers and gave it an enormous sneeze, like, ha, shoot! The force of the sneeze shot the men up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. Oh my gosh, all the animals flew up in the air. You know, when bears sneeze, it could be like a windstorm. On his way home, Nikki saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost men silhouetted against the blue sky. I love seeing a blue sky after it snows. As he ran to catch his snow white men, he saw Baba's face in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound. And then she saw that he still had his new mittens. I bet you Baba's really happy. I'm really happy for Nikki. And Baba smiled and she was so proud. I'm so proud of everybody that reads every night. And I'm so honored to read with you in your homes this evening. Again, I wish everybody a happy holiday season. I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow in school. Thank you for being with me tonight. And thank you, parents, for always supporting us. And to our students, you're the best. Have the best night.